Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and do a be aware. Now, the be aware doesn't have to be something bad, okay? It can just be something that maybe you need to pay a little bit more attention to at this time. Um, and because it is a general reading, it may not resonate with everyone. Take what resonates for you and leave the rest. All right, so let's jump into this. If anything does resonate at any time and anyone is interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank you to those who reach out for those. Thank you to those who donate to the channel. And thank you to those who have subscribed. It's very much appreciated. So let's jump into this, Virgos. So, okay, Spirit, is there anything that my Virgos need to be aware of at this time? What is the energy here for the collective? Thank you. I do hope that everybody is well, Virgos. The sign of Virgo. Is there anything that I need to be aware of? What is the energy here? Show me. Three, three cards. Thank you, Spirit. What my Virgos need to be aware of? What's the energy here? Almost. Hmm. Okay. For the sign of Virgo, give me three cards. Thank you. Nothing for my Virgos to be aware of. Okay, that was the occupation card. But give me, give me some um, flippers. Thank you, Spirit. Give me three cards. Give me a clear message for my Virgos. I need to be aware of. All right, first card. Thank you. Oh, coffin. An ending, a death, give me two more cards, the sign of Virgo, thank you spirit, what well, they need to be aware of, I need two more cards, thank you, what is the energy here, show me. Oh, something being hidden? What's going on? <laughs> All right. Thank you. That was difficult. Okay. Main mail. So this could be about a man. We have do have thief at the bottom of the deck, but let's see. I'm going to need one more card. Thank you, Spirit. For the sign of Virgo. What I need to be aware of. Okay. I was a bit, oh, imprisonment at the bottom of the deck. Look at that voice wants to go. Uh oh. What's going on here? Oh, thief is still there. Message, despair, lovers, expectation, concern. So I don't know if for some of Virgos, if this is about uh, some an ex maybe with the lovers card out here. Uh, the lovers is Gemini energy also. Despair, message, thief and imprisonment. Somebody going to prison or somebody just feeling trapped about something maybe that they have done here. Maybe someone's afraid of some kind of news coming out. But I, yeah, I'm hearing message. So what's the last card? Occupation. So this could have to do with someone's job. Maybe somebody stole something from a job here. Maybe somebody's getting caught. What's the message here? I'm hearing the word organization. Yeah, look at that. The moon card, the hierophant. King of Wands and the Moon card. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. We also have Pisces and Cancer, but I also include Scorpio in this card. Um, for me, because of the lobster kind of thing. All right. Let's see what this is about. Oh, the Death card and the Tower. The Four of Swords. Something is getting laid to rest or someone's getting laid to rest here. 
I don't know if there's been... But what's behind that? The Nine of Pentacles, which is your energy, Virgo, the magician. Oh, let me find out. Somebody tried to put this on you, Virgos. What is the coffin card? What do my Virgos need to be aware of? Thank you, Spirit. There's a coffin card here. Show me. <laughs> Look at this. The Hermit. Some of you already know something. Maybe you see something here. What is this? Look at this. The fool. Somebody did something foolish. Or somebody took some kind of risk. Maybe when it comes to you, Virgos. Uh oh. I'm, uh oh, I'm hearing that song. Um, that's Beyonce, right? Which is She's a Virgo. And I'm hearing what goes around, comes and back around. A, hey, my baby. What's the hermit and the, for the coffin card? Thank you, spirit. The four of swords. I, just, I cannot. I don't know. What comes out underneath the fool? Thank you, Spirit. For the sign of Virgo, what's the energy here? What do I need to be aware of? Show me. The three of swords. And look at that. The four of swords or the three of swords is the seven of swords. Lying, cheating, deception. Somebody trying to get away with something here. Show me the hermit and the four of swords. The death card is still at the bottom of the deck. The hermit and the four of swords. The world card. I cannot. <laughs> Look, somebody, I feel like somebody wanted to put an end to something. Now, Virgos, where is actually you as a person, right? And I'm going to say that very lightly here. Um, or What is the world card? Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Or they wanted to put an end to something that maybe you were building, creating here. Something you have put a lot of hard work into. What's the Fool and the Three of Swords? <laughs> Oh, spirit of two funny. <laughs> I said, what is the fool and the three of swords? Look at this, it's going to come in the reverse though. It's the three of wands. And what they were actually saying to me is, do you remember the three wise kings? <laughs> As I just did that video. If you haven't seen that video, then I don't know. I don't know. I feel like someone did something here. Three, three, it could be a third party situation. Maybe more than one person involved. Take it out, it resonates. But whatever somebody... Um, with the three of wands coming in reverse, whatever somebody was hoping for, let's say in the future, or it, it's almost like the three of wands, spirit says there's nothing for you to look forward to. Someone here is heartbroken, disappointed about some kind of foolish, risky, whatever they did here. It's the end. It's the end of what, how, what that means. I don't know. <laughs> okay. It could just mean that this person is in some kind of mental entrapment. Or again, we saw the imprisonment card. It could talk about actual prison. Ooh, King of Pentacles and the Page of Cups here. So for some of you, this may have been another earth sign that may want to come in and give you an apology here. Ace of Wands, Queen of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles. But there's some truth that needs to be told about some kind of finances here. Um, the Knight of Wands, yeah, somebody was in a rush to do something. And look where they ran right into judgment. What is this main mail? Thank you, Spirit. Who is it? Look at this. The four wands in the reverse. Oh, someone who doesn't have any stability anymore. Maybe this is even somebody losing a home. Four of wands could even be the end of a marriage. Maybe there's a lots of endings going on here. It reminds me of the video that I did that I titled it When the Rabbit Hole Never Ends. It's the four wands in the reverse. Thank you, Spirit. The sign of Virgo. It's the energy here. Thank you. The Queen of Wands. 
So you could be dealing with a male, or I mean, not a male, I mean, it could be male, right? I said male or female fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Yeah, the five of pentacles, the sun card with the eight of pentacles. See, someone here is being left out in the cold because something here is being exposed, right? And it also gives me the energy here of somebody celebrating too early about something. Almost like somebody was very sure of something. And, you know, that's how spirit works when it comes to karma. They'll wait till you get to that point, right? Where you, you're sure and you just got to go just a little bit more, right? Almost at the finish line and spirit takes away the ribbon. What finish line? We've moved the goalpost. What's the four ones in the reverse? Justice, thank you. <laughs> Let them know. Ooh, with the five of wands. So now there's conflict and now there's fights and now there's arguments. And now there's lots going on because justice is being served. Karma is being dished out here. Someone didn't play by the universal law. What is the four ones and the justice? The four ones in the reverse and the justice card. For this main male. Thank you, spirit. The nine of pentacles. And the lovers. Oh, okay. Now for some of you, I'm getting something a little different here as well. This four ones in the reverse and the justice with this nine of pentacles and the lovers. If this is somebody that wanted to come back to you, spirit said, um, yeah, that's not going to work. What is the four ones and the justice? Four ones in the reverse and the justice. Thank you, Spirit. Show me. <laughs> okay. They said we already showed you. Hello, the Empress. Now, somebody definitely could be arguing with a baby mother, a mother figure. Absolutely. I'm hearing... <laughs> I'm hearing, get your shit, get your shit, and get out. My spirit guys be super funny. What is the nine of wands and this, I mean, not the nine of wands. Oops. Oh, dear. I don't know. Somebody feeling down and out. I don't know. Somebody's struggling right now. I'm hearing feeling abandoned. I'm hearing, <laughs> okay, I'm hearing a lot. I'm hearing someone should have abort ship or abandon. What is it? How do you say abandon mission? Abort ship. What is the Queen of Wands and the Five of Wands? Because this now together is the Six of Wands. So there may be some, like I said, some kind of arguing here over something that somebody may have thought was going to be successful. The Six of Wands talks about public recognition. Or there is arguments about somebody who is in the public eye. What is the Queen of Wands and the Five of Wands? Thank you, Spirit. The Six of Pentacles. Yeah. Some arguments over money here. I don't know. I'm hearing uh, it, someone here could owe someone something or someone here may have paid someone to do something here. What is the occupation? This juicy. <laughs> what is occupation? Seven of Wands. Why are they giving me the Seven of Wands? Seven of Wands talks about somebody protecting something. It also talks about something is protected here. The occupation card. Thank you. Oh, King of Wands out here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Show me more. Oh, judgment. Knight of Wands. Someone here was reckless. Or someone here could be wanting to rush somewhere here with this Knight of Wands energy. Why the Knight of Wands come out with the King of Wands? We'll clarify. What is a judgment? 
Somebody calling, making a final decision here. Well, the universe is. Why is the judgment card here? What my Virgos need to be aware of? The Ace of Swords. The truth. Okay. So I'm seeing the Six of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords. I don't know if judgment is being called. Like I said, someone may have to take, um, ooh, with a temperance, ooh, with a death card. Someone here may have to tell the truth here about something, Nick, but it could be from the past here. Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. There's definitely been a delay here. What is the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands? Thank you, Spirit. What my Virgos need to be aware of at this time? Show me. The Page of Wands. Yeah, some kind of information here. Some kind of message. And I said to you at the beginning, I was hearing a message. But I did see the card as well, so. What's the um, Page of Wands? The two of wands coming out sideways, a blockage. Oh, that's the three of wands here. It's almost like someone has, I almost wanted to say made a decision. It's almost like with the three of wands, someone here may see the bigger picture about a situation. But it also gives me the energy here of someone sees you as good news. Somebody wants to rush towards you here. What's the judgment? Oh, Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Swords. It's almost like somebody tried to stop someone's destiny. They wanted to hold, it could be hold their destiny back when it comes to, like I said, whatever someone here is building with this Ten of Pentacles, it could be holding finances back here, right? But the Wheel of Fortune is here. Spirit says, hey, you maybe could have caused delays, but not the ultimate delay. It's almost like somebody's watching you and they see you happy. Ace of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords. Oh, the Ace of Wands. Some of you may be speakers here. This could even be a legal um, figure, right? That is calling some kind of judgment here on some kind of finances or, like I said, I don't know. Depends what you guys do for business as well with the occupation card. But somebody here wants to apologize to you, though. Sorry, give me one on the judgment and the ace of swords. I'm hearing it's final. It's almost like the last word. The six of swords. Yeah, moving away to calmer waters. It's the end of something and someone here is left disappointed. <laughs> the nine of swords, the page of pentacles, the knight of cups, the emperor... The King of Swords and the Tower. So for some of you, it could be an air sign. For some of you, it could be an Aries. We also have Scorpio energy here, but this could be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Tower moments. Oop. Okay. So Archangel Michael, give me a message to end this. <laughs> give me a message to end this. Thank you. Take control of your thoughts. One more. Thirty-nine. You are protected. Well, let's get three since we have three piles. Thank you, Archangel Michael. There's a message here. How do you want to end this reading? Let me see if they go and sing for me now. It's funny, I just had the ravens circling. Well, only two of them. Just circling here just now. I thought they were going to say something. But give me one more. Thank you, Archangel Michael. <laughs> As you are protected comes out, I see the ravens. All right. So the first one we have is a number 31, which boils down to a four. It says, take control of your thoughts. It says, your thoughts are creating your reality. It says, have faith and stay focused on the outcome that you truly desire. So 
So some of you, I don't know, I almost want to say some of you stayed focused. You had faith. You have the number 39, which could be significant. Or the number, what is that, 12? It says you are protected. It says you are safe within my bubble of light. You can proceed with confidence. So who row in the boat? Archangel Michael, let me find out. <laughs> you can proceed with confidence. It's the end. And the coffin card was the first card out. Clarifying with the world. You have the number 14, which boils down to a five. It says, have no fear. It says, fear is a trap of ego. It says, allow me to use my sword of light to free you from the disquieting feelings holding you back. Virgos, that is your be aware. <laughs> Guys, if this is where we part, stay safe. Love and light.